Yesterday, a lot of men got excited when news broke about an alleged new law in Eritrea, that's the Horn of Africa, that will force men to marry a second wife or go to jail. Those Eritrean ladies are pretty, right? Well, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the story is not true. You cannot marry a second wife in Eritrea. Something was a little fishy, right? The story caught fire yesterday and people went totally wild on social media, especially some men joking or probably being serious about relocating to Eritrea, which borders Sudan and Ethiopia. The rumor allegedly started on Facebook as a joke. A post was written in Arabic allegedly taken from the highest religious official in the country and it stated that because of the shortage of men in the country due to war and conflict, men are ordered to marry a second wife and if he and the first wife don't agree, they will receive life in prison with the men receiving hard labor. This sounds crazy, right? So it seems that the news began trending after it was reported on by Kenya's The Standard, which is a pretty reasonable source. Almost instantly, it went viral in Kenya and then in Nigeria. However, we did call the Eritrean permanent mission here in New York City, and a spokeswoman there said it's not true and that it did begin surfacing on social media but she wouldn't allow me to quote her. I also spoke to the author of that particular story in The Standard in Kenya, and it was expressed that the credibility of the source of that information hasn't been verified. And I looked a little deeper and discovered some Eritrean press discrediting the info. An Eritrean news site, Tesfa News, last night released a report denying that a polygamy law exists and that it's not stated anywhere in the Eritrean constitution. So besides some cultural and religious duties, polygamy in general is not allowed in Eritrea. Sorry guys, but it is allowed in Kenya, where a law passed in 2014 allows men in that East African country to marry as many wives as he wishes. You just had your news update with the break. I'm Tracy Thompson. Thanks for watching.